Welcome everyone to this GigaHub one shot uh, where I will review the show that I cannot get Adam to watch, The Legend of Vox Machina. So I figure I'd just do a review. True. Yeah, because he won't try it because, you know, he's that old guy just yelling at clouds. No real reason to. <laughs> I don't have no Am- real reason to. I don't to. have Amazon Prime anymore, so I can't watch it. I it mean, just doesn't interest me. It, critical Role stuff never interests me. Okay, it doesn't have to. I'm not, I'm not a Critical Role fan fanboy i like the episode but the, with terry cruz that was good. but the first the first season well, have, the, the, the very first campaign i thought was good okay. everything after that i just kind of lost interest in but um but the first one's great uh before i i uh, just run the review maybe before i go on i want to talk about our sponsor cosmic comics the pop culture mecca of the mojave desert uh we have everything that your nerdy hair could desire including but not limited to comics board games, action figures, apparel, and all sorts of other things. You can come on down, talk to our knowledgeable staff. You can go, if you don't want to get off the couch, to CosmicComics.Vegas and place an order to be mailed to you there so you don't even have to get up off the couch. True. All right. That's out of the way. I'm just going to do a quick review and rundown um, of the Amazon series, The Legend of Vox Machina, which... Uh, just a, a quick background. It was kickstarted uh, on Kickstarter, and it made a oh. hell of a lot more money than they were expecting. So it really oh, changed wow. what they were going God. to do. They were going to originally make a movie of the first campaign, and because they had made so much money, they were able to stretch it out into oh, wow. a full uh, series, which has also now been confirmed to have a second season by Amazon. Uh, it was released three episodes at a time, so you didn't have to wait too long to get the the whole first season. Um, so basically what it is, it is a cartoon retelling of the first campaign of the Critical Role series. Uh, so it's basically, it's without calling, without calling itself D&D, it's D&D. Is, uh, mm-hmm. is it, mm-hmm. is it, mm-hmm. just go ahead, just go ahead. No, 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 please. <laughs> no, if it comes up when you're doing it, I'll ask that. Oh, I have a question. Sure. Are, are there any little people in this cartoon? Yes, there are yes. there are two like no th- there are two gnomish there are two gnome characters. Gnomes? There are two gnomes. Yeah, there's no none of them picked halflings in this in the first campaign. Okay. Uh, sadly enough, I like halflings. I don't. You don't like anything, so shut That's up. That's not true. <laughs> you don't like anything. Um, I like half orcs and orcs. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> um, Oh, God, I forgot where I was. Okay, so basically it's their D&D campaign animated. Uh, just a real quick uh, recap of the series. The first two episodes uh, introduces us to our heroes who stop a blue dragon uh, from threatening the realm. This gets them in with the Sovereign of the of Tal'Dorei. And then they begin the actual story, which is to avenge one of the party members' uh, death of their family at the hands of a vampire and a sorceress. Um, the voice acting is very good. Obviously, all the voice actors who play uh, these characters in the game uh, also play all the characters in the show, uh, because it would be weird if they didn't. Yeah, they're all professional the, actors anyway. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, there's a lot of other... There's a lot of other people who are in this show that are really, uh, that actually I wouldn't have expected to be in it. David Tennant is in this. He plays the human form. Actually, he plays the blue dragon and the blue dragon's human form. Um, Yeah, Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine-Nine is in it. Nice. Uh, There's just, there's a lot of people in here uh, who you may or may not recognize simply from uh, their voice work. Uh, Gray Delisle, who plays the uh, bad guy Delilah. Delilah Briarwood, yeah. Uh, she's in it, and she's fantastic. Um, the animation is great. The art style is fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, there wasn't a lot about the show I didn't like besides one of the characters, which even during campaign one, he was one of my least favorite characters. <laughs> um, he is uh, He's that one player that won't, that kind of just won't stop. You know what I mean? Like, he's that one guy who just, I don't know, he just, he has to make a joke. He has to make a quip. He has to do... Right, right. Something he has to force something funny I think I know in there. You're talking about. I think he's kind of the reason I never really got. Yeah, to it. me, <laughs> I, not, a lot of people actually really like this character, yeah. like a lot. And I'm not saying he's a bad character. Like as you, if you listen to the actual podcast, like his character has this sort of revelation, this arc, this this really poignant moment, right? And it kind of explains a lot of his silly behavior. But still, the silly behavior 
to me for me is a little too much and even in this was kind of the same it was a little too much i think we could have had him without him having to be so oh god what's the word i I don't even know what the word is for it like it just annoying annoying (laughs) yeah i think annoying for lack of a better word is uh the best that i can think of um this i i believe and you can quote me on this <laughs> that and and that that D and D movie isn't even out yet. That this is probably Number going one? to be the best D and D thing that we get. What about the nineteen ninety nine one? That was a main. No, one with I, I can't Irons? even. I can't even. Keep it, listen, it was a train wreck for sure. Like you couldn't turn away from it. The, um, the ear tentacles torture. Scene? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it had its moments for sure, but it was yeah, come the on. Elders were like henchmen for some reason. Yeah, but yeah. come on, it was bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was bad. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and this this new one is not going to be any better, if at all. If it's good, I will be the first to say that it's good, but I doubt that it is, and I really think that this show is the only good D&D media that we're going to we get. get. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I which is fine, honestly. I think there's plenty of other. I did a I did a whole episode on D&D playthrough yeah. podcasts, and yeah. I think a, there's a lot of. The ones that I listened to, I think, would really make a great cartoon. I think NADPOD would be a fantastic cartoon. So maybe this could be this the trend of you finding a cartoon maybe. of your favorite podcast. It doesn't have to be Critical Role. It could be literally anything else. I mean, did, did they do kind of what they did with uh, Adventure Time, where they just ridiculously amp up a lot of the humor? And when I say Adventure Time, Adventure Time came out with a comic book mm-hmm. of each campaign or each sort of adventure. But the the... The problem I had with the comic book. You mean Adventure Zone? Adventure Zone. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like Adventure oh, Time. Sorry, yeah, Adventure Time. the Adventure Zone, which is another pod, Zone, another D and D podcast. Right, which was really good. It was very yeah. It was, but it was the really comic funny. book they came out with, it's like all the humor was like really amped up to the point where it was kind of annoying. It's kind of cartoonish, well, or too yeah, cartoonish, like, like, like even like more Teen cartoonish. Titans Go cartoon cartoonish. It right. Wasn't, it wasn't good. I didn't like it. I like the artwork in it. Yeah, that's um, great. Was it like that, or was it more of a straight? No, it transition. was more. It was more of a straight transition. Okay. Um, a lot of it, like, there's a lot of moments. If you listen to the first uh, campaign, that that you'll recognize. And you're like, oh yeah, they hit that beat for beat. Obviously, oh, they couldn't okay. hit every single thing beat for beat because of copyright. They didn't have uh, right. Wizards of the Coast blessing, so they had to do a lot of things to sort of hide they the fact. They didn't have Wizards. They of the did Coast not blessing? have. You think they would? Oh my God! Right. They, that they, that's a money. Had, that is that is a no brainer. I mean, you don't like. For you a don't, while, they got very cool, and now I guess they're not cool again. You don't Wizards like. You don't like Critical Role. But I mean, I it would, but hold on. It, yeah. But it would be. But wouldn't you agree that it would be dumb for them not to have jumped up on this? Yeah, yeah, it would have been dumb. I mean, that's wildly popular, and it's bringing. So much attention to Dungeons right. and Dragons. Now that's how stupid are they? Now I don't know if they if they were <laughs> like even asked or what, but I know that because they didn't have uh, any any uh, they didn't own any of the stuff that, that Wizards of the Coast put out. They couldn't really use a lot of the terminology right. and things like that. But right. I mean, it still kind of plays like a D and D game. You can tell where there's persuasion checks and where there's saves and things like that. And it, it's it's pretty. There's a lot of stuff you watch in there that doesn't go exactly as planned, and it gives it that like, oh, somebody failed a roll. Yeah, right. Um, so <laughs> yeah, so it does that without actually just pointing out the fact that it is a game. But right, right. besides, really, the one character who kind of wasn't even that bad a character, but was just kind of a lot sometimes. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was good. I really enjoyed it. I, again, I really think this is going to be the only d- good D&D <laughs> media we get for a very right, long time, if at it. all. Um, I would say just give it a try. Just give it a try, man. Like You don't even have to like Critical Role for this to be good. I think this is very good, and especially those last three episodes are like, they're pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Um, all right. Anyway, so uh, if you watched The Legend of Vox Machina and you enjoyed it or didn't, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you can like or dislike this video doesn't really matter to me but i would like it if you subscribe so that you get new videos to like or dislike right and uh i'll see you guys in the next one shot